Who sing their sapsy, it's just as I've been saying. There is an instinctive rivalry between my own dear boy and this landless fellow. And I fear his hot-blooded eastern temperament. Oh, I think you exaggerate the matter, Mr. Chasper. <laughs> I will go mad. Do you not realize that there's more than one side? One face to all things in nature? Beneath Neville's tainted English accent and his adopted English manners, there is a heathen landless, a tribesman landless, a half-blooded, half-bred, half-caste who would kill as easily as he would tell his sleek hair. Oh, now, Mr. Jasper, this is quite extraordinary. On the contrary! Nothing could be more ordinary, sir. I myself suffer from this sort of duality on occasion. Sometimes I will forget things, and in going back to fetch them, I have to expect to meet myself round in the corner I've already turned. What about me? Having to be your chairman and play this mass sassy blue? Damn confusing. Indeed, like our two-sided devil madness, I find that. I am not myself these days for all I know. Ladies and gentlemen, as saying the role of 
of the Turtles, the clown princess of the musical royale, your friend, not mine, I give you and I don't want her back, Miss Nikki Cricker. <laughs>
Something is what it was. Mayor Saxe wouldn't like me leaving the mausoleum keys lying around in front of his wife's crypt. He gave me strict instruction that these keys were. And now look, the key to Mrs. Saxe's tomb is missing. I think that I have guessed you any moment for Christmas dinner, and a poor host I not to offer them all the comfort and joy of the season. A happy Christmas to you, girls. God rest ye merry, Mr. Dog Guard. You know, you would 